What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday! What's up, boys? Do you see what the outside looks like? This is probably our first time ever starting this early. Pretty sure it's 6 a.m. Today, we have an insanely exciting day planned. Cooper looks like he just wants to go back to bed. He does. The Pet Paradise Dog Park in the Jacksonville Jaguars Stadium. I think it's the only dog park in any professional sports stadium in the US. We are gonna be going today. The boys are gonna be watching the game from the park. We're gonna be able to go kind of like visit them through the fence and see them playing. There's a pool up on top. Cooper, you wanna go swimming? You wanna go swimming, buddy? Oh yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. Pet Paradise sent us a couple of bandanas for the game and then we actually bought these Jaguar collars just for this game. So we're gonna go ahead and get these open and get these on the boys. We gotta take care of Mickey Mouse. Jo you're gonna get one too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. What a handsome guy. Oh. Nice job. Okay, just <laughs> you almost I'll give you a kiss if you give him a collar, please. Okay. Oh man, we needed, we needed an XL. That, that just though. does not, that does not really fit. It looks a little tight, but that's all right. Oh yeah, your guy's accessory game is on point today. Look at that. Are you ready, girl? Two hours in the car. Let's do it. Go ahead, Coop. All right, he's in the driver's seat. Coda, Coda, I think it's easier. I think it's easier. Coda, if you come back here. Coda, if you come back here. Co okay. His, I don't, this is not, yeah, that, that doesn't work. Coda, come here. Good boy, that's where we want to be. So unfortunately, this is not something where we just like walk into the stadium with them yeah. and That'd walk them up to the park. What you have to do is you drop them at like their boarding daycare type station and then they bring them on a bus to the game. And I think the gates open at 10 a.m. It's currently 8.30. We can go up and see them right at 10 a.m., which we're gonna do. But uh, first it's time for some breakfast. Soon after. That's the dogs right there for sure. There was a golden, but no guarantee it's Koopy. Are you sure that's not Coda right there? I swear the I white? saw pointed ears. Well, yeah, that white dog's really not walking, so maybe it is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Coda. No way, we found him. Welcome to TIAA Bankfield, the home of your <laughs> Coop Jacksonville Coop walked nicer. He's so excited. <laughs> Should we call his name? No, no. <laughs> 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 It turns out we could get in at 10, but we can't actually get up to them until 11. So this is the field right here. I believe they are directly up there. So we gotta wait till 11 and then we can go up. We've got 10 minutes left, but Caitlin from Pet Paradise is sending us updates. The boys are already up there. They're already having a great time. We've got a couple of pictures to share with you guys early. So, so good. first of all, Coop has a new friend, which is kind of exciting. Yeah. We've got Cooper by himself in front of the field. We've got Cooper in the pool, which I can't believe she got this photo without him freaking out. Then here's Cooper playing in the pool, which... That other dog wants to play with him and he doesn't want it. <laughs> he doesn't care about anybody else. He's just trying to figure out how to swim. I don't think he's really ever been in pools where you can't actually swim. No, it's always like this, been our, like our pool or a lake. This is like a wading pool, so I don't know how much he's gonna like that. And Coda is next to the big fan. So, that's just a little update. We'll see him in 10 minutes. And they finally let us in. So excited. Here we go. So we have to go up this escalator and then up that escalator and then we should be able to see him. Is he out and about? Where is he? Hey, buddy. Coda. Coda. Hi, buddy. Hello. Hello. Good boy. Good boy. Hi, buddy. I wish I could pet you. You're a good boy. Okay, okay. Um. I don't think you're supposed to do that. <laughs> good boy. Koda, we're gonna go check on Cooper, okay? We're gonna go to the other side. Yeah, he's doing good. Oh, he's gonna follow us. Oh no, he's gonna follow us. Koda. Oh, that's, babe, that's 
breaking my heart. That is breaking my heart. Let's see if Cooper even recognizes us. He's right there. Cooper! Cooper! Hey! No. Doesn't doesn't care. No care in the world for y'all. No, not at all. It's the same as at home if he's in the pool. To a ball. Cooper! He just doesn't. He can't focus. My heart is hurting. We are not as important as that pool. Hi, buddy! Hi! He keeps looking at us, but then he just gets sidetracked. Cooper didn't even really care about us. Meanwhile, Coda is still barking for us. <laughs> I feel bad. He's barking. That's Coda. That's Coda over there. Go back, go back to him, it's embarrassing. <laughs> Koda, it's okay. It's all right, I'm right here. Good boy. Good boy, oh, it's okay. It's okay, shh. <laughs> Oh no, Cooper! <laughs> Cooper, why would you, why would you do that? That was naughty. Update on Coop. We've been here for about 30 minutes now. He's the lone dog in the pool, just playing by himself. He's so tired. Just get out, buddy. They said they do switch him out. Yeah. Every once in a while, so he won't be in the, the pool for the whole game, but they like to, to let him in there because it kind of cools him off a little bit. I think it's around mid 80s right now, 85 degrees or so. Coda has not stopped barking. There he is again, the deeper we one. Have let him see us. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. No. He's being bad. He's being really bad. No. Good boy, Coda. We miss you too. Is he just gonna bark for the whole game now? All well, three hours? I really hope not. Stop. We gotta walk away. I wish we could step out onto that. Unfortunately, this isn't the best angle, but uh, you guys can see Coop is still just in there. The only one in the pool. At this point, he's not even swimming. He's just existing. In the pool, yeah. He's not even in the deep part of the pool. He's just sitting on the outside, not playing with toys. Now he's starting to swim a little bit. It's gonna be kinda of hard to see, but that guy just came out of that kennel back there. That's what Coda's in. It's like a cooling station. They've got misters and stuff. He was just in there with him, hanging out with him. I think they're trying to get him to drink water. I think seeing us kinda of got him a little worked up and he's he's not drinking water, so. I feel like a overprotective parent just like spying on what our kids are doing at the babysitters. <laughs> Look at that little face. So that little head sticking up. You gotta cool off, buddy. Well, except he's being naughty, so I don't feel that bad. He is being a little naughty. He won't stop barking. I didn't get his name yet. We're gonna go say what's up to him here in a second, but he just yelled up to us. He was giving Coop extra attention and like playing with him and stuff. And he just saw us up here. He's like, yo, T. Martin, I'm a big fan. Shout out to this guy. We're spying on Coda. He doesn't know we're here. That guy is still in there hanging out with him. <laughs> Just chilling with Koda. He's a big boy, he needs lots of love. <laughs> Cooper! Hi, buddy! Come here! Go! <laughs> Nope. If you can't throw the ball, then he doesn't come care. Here. He'll come over here. What's up, buddy? Good, good boy. So I think uh, I think we're gonna pull ourselves away. It's really hard. I could be there for the next four hours while they're there, but I think we should like kind of let them play and forget we were there and not worry about us. So the game's gonna start here in about an hour. We got an hour, so uh, hang out. We got some friends coming to the game too. We'll see what happens. I think we might go see them again at the start of the game time and then obviously at the end so we'll see you guys around oh no girl this ain't half bad no, 
50 yard line. Are you kidding me? This is literally perfect. Now it's not like this video is like sponsored, like we weren't paid for anything here, but uh, obviously they did hook it up. They kind of got us into the pet park and hooked us up with tickets. So seriously, big thank you to Pet Paradise. You guys have been amazing. We really appreciate it. Everything from cutting Coda's hair to taking us to football games. This, is, this has been pretty good. So this is gonna be a great day. Do you think Coda's still in that little box with his man petting him? His personal petter. Can we talk about the level of service that is? That Coda has his own personal petter. Obviously, Coop is stoked. Coda was actually, I think, he was barking at some people to pet him. Yeah. Like, I think he was wanting them he, to pet him. So, if you guys are somewhat newer, if you go back and watch the videos where we would take Coda on walks, when people walk towards him, he lays down because he assumes that people want to pet him. Or, like, when we're in PetSmart and stuff. Yeah, so really, he would be happier if this was petting zoo style. So that the strangers could pet there him. There you go. You could just put him in like one of those little channels where he just walks in circles and people pet him. He'd, he'd love that. <laughs> So the shallow dog bone pool is nice and all right. Yeah. When are they gonna let Koopy go in the actual swimming pools? They have two swimming pools. You can rent like cabanas and stuff, and you get swimming pool access. You can watch the game from the pool. That's crazy. We couldn't help ourselves. Still just playing away. <laughs> So we checked on him one last time before the game started. Yeah. Coda is not outside. I think this is their like air-conditioned pod. He's gonna be like, can we go back to that pod thing again? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing we brought our dog to sit in an air-conditioned like shipping container. Nice He's having a great time. I'm sure you guys could tell, but Cooper's lost a ton of his spunk He's too. Tired. He's, he's gonna be dead for the next few days. My goodness, the game hasn't even started yet. We're already looking at merch. Should we get him a football? Do you think he'd like a football? The rough one might last a little longer. Or we could get him Jackson, the Jaguar. Or we could get that for Coda. What's up, boys? Y'all are so tired. Coda, come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Coda. Come on. He's so tired. Good boy. Koopy, you're so tired, dude. It's okay. So we are currently sitting here. We have to wait 45 minutes until the game's over to pick them up. They'll walk them down with us, and then we can take them straight to the car and take them home. Oh, Koda got ran over. He's coming back. You got ran over by Cooper. <laughs> it's our turn. Our boys are coming. They're coming out. I think we're like the first ones. They put both of their leashes on, and I think they're gonna come out right here. Hi, buddy! They were swimming. Oh, they were swimming? Yeah! He's been all over his feet! <laughs> oh, buddy. It's okay, good boy! Oh, no! It's okay, he's embarrassed! We've gone literally like 25 feet. People won't stop stopping us to pet them. You have a dog here, and nobody expects you to have a dog here. It's kind of cool. Koda's living it up. Like a golden retriever. Oh wait, what's that? Right. No matter where we go. Let's see what happens. Do I need to pick? Oh, oh. almost didn't make it. That was honestly impressive. All right, Coda. It's gonna be a couple years. If you. Good job. Honestly, that's way better than expected after a day like today. Good boys, we love you. It's two hours to home. We'll get lots of pets along the way. Good job. We're about 30 minutes into the ride home. He's been going for about a minute and a half now and he made it two steps out of the truck. Coda's in better shape. He looks like a hot mess. He's really tired. Kobe, we, we have to do like all this hair sticking all over the place. I'm literally picking the gobs of drool from underneath his mouth. Like, come on, dude. Get yourself together. He's so tired. You're such a good boy. I know it was a long day. You made it, buddy. Oh my goodness. You're so tired, I know. All right, come on. Let's go. We're home. Good boy. Come on, Coda. Let's go. We're home. 
Good boy. Don't pee on your leash. Don't pee on the leash. He peed on the leash a little bit. That's okay. I think we're going to be here a while. Good boy, Coda. You have way less than Coop does. I wish we could teach him to swim without keeping his mouth open. We wouldn't have this issue. I know. I don't even know how you would go about that. Yeah, I, I think it's just kind of who he is. He just takes in a lot of water. But the good news is, is the pool at that place was all just like fresh water. We watched him drain it a couple times and they refilled it with the hoses. So it was just fresh water for him. He's still, I'm, I'm gonna get the house open. It's been two minutes. Cooper is still peeing. Oh look, look who's done. Hello Cooper. He yes. is limping around like an old man. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So he is so done with the day. Go find a cozy spot and have a rest, dude. Anyway guys, I think that's gonna do it for us. I don't know about you, but I'm like, I'm honestly kinda wiped out too. We say we're gonna watch a movie tonight, but I think we're both just gonna sleep on the couch. Pretty, pretty much. We're gonna like snuggle up with these boys, just kinda hang out, maybe order some food and just, just relax. Hey, huh? I need a snack. <laughs> Coda, are you hungry? I, I am too, buddy. It's been a long, long day. So hope you guys enjoyed. Honestly, I think this was like one of the most physically exhausting, physically taxing episodes we have ever done, especially on the boys. For us, it wasn't that bad. We enjoyed the football game, but especially for the boys, it was a super long day. So we're not gonna ask anything else of them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Drop a like if you did. Again, thank you so much to Pet Paradise. We really appreciate you guys. And uh, I don't think this is the last you guys have heard of them. I think we are gonna take the boys for like, playtime and stuff sometimes too. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of boarding. I don't know, who knows what happens. But uh, anyway, we're gonna see you guys later. Peace out.